Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This is a how they feel about you love reading. So we'll be looking at your person's true intentions and feelings towards you and what actions they might take or what energy they're bringing to this connection, as well as the main energy going on in the moment. Um, this will be for those of you that already have some sort of connection in mind or are in some sort of a connection right now. Um, so we're going to get right into it. What is the main energy spirit for Sagittarius and this other person? What's the main energy for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Main energy. Paralyzing fear, afraid, immobile, unsure. Fear is holding you back from what you desire. So one of you in this connection are experiencing fear. Um, I also have at the bottom of the deck here, patiently waiting, divine timing, patience, trust, be patient. What you desire will be given at the right time. So there's, I guess, fear and it's wrapped up in some sort of waiting. Maybe someone has been waiting a really long time and is now fearful that something will ever happen for this connection. Perhaps someone's waiting for the right time to open up and up till that point, they're just scared, um, unsure of what to do, how to say something. I'm just going to pull the Oracle cards first. This is the soul's journey. We're going to be looking at their feelings or intentions towards you, Sagittarius. Spirit, what are their feelings or intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their fears or intentions? towards Sagittarius. All right, what are their feelings or intentions? Their feelings or intentions towards Sagittarius. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So this is reminding me of the hangman here. Your person is putting themselves in your shoes at this time, Sagittarius, uh, seeing things from your side or at least from your point of view. Um, I have doubt at the bottom of the deck here. There might be some doubt about um, how you feel, uh, doubts regarding this connection, where it's headed. Um, maybe someone's doubting that um, they'll be able to fix things because I feel like they're putting themselves in your shoes and having some sort of empathy because something has happened here between you. Um, there's someone that's holding back here. So what potential actions or energy are they bringing into this connection spirit with Sagittarius? Potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection with Sagittarius. Potential actions or energy they're bringing spirit to this connection. Potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. Wizard of Awareness. Okay, so there's not a lot of action with the Wizard of Awareness. I'll look at that card. For you guys um it's at the bottom magic stream interesting i'll be looking at that one too um with the wizard of awareness number three um again it's 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 being aware so there your person is looking at a situation or at you specifically sagittarius here thinking about you um Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. Um, blah, blah, blah. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. So objectively looking at a situation. Um, people come and go, experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change, no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. 
So I'm getting a few things from this. Um, I'm getting that your person po possibly they feel this is out of their control, that they need to just let things unfold here. Um, they're seeing things very clearly at this time. Um, that's the energy they're bringing to this connection. I don't really see a lot of action. I see a lot of reflection. Um, and look at even this person, how they look in this picture. It's kind of, they're just like, hmm, <laughs> just thinking. And as they think and reflect, um, I feel like it's giving them more empathy because they're able to see things from your point of view. And this makes sense with um, what is happening astrologically at this time with the Pisces uh, moon that we just had. So yeah, I feel like um, your person is probably thinking that it's really gonna be up to you, Sagittarius whatever happens in this connection. Oh yeah, I forgot, I wanna look at um, number 18, Magic Stream. Every experience you have seems to have its own life story with a beginning, a middle, and eventually an end. However, there's danger in seeing events as separate from one another, since in fact, they're all part of a continuity and a greater evolution. Like an ever-flowing magic stream, your experiences filter through the whole world one leading into another, informing and influencing more. Inspir inspiration, invention, and revelations really come to just one person. Collective awareness is a shared storehouse of potential. When you remember you're part of the fluid continuity of life, you become a channel for great inspiration. Allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams into reality. Again, allow things to flow. Let things go. Let things unfold. Um, I feel like your person's also, as they're thinking and reflecting on whatever has taken place in this connection, they're connecting the dots, you know, seeing things differently because maybe they're, since they're seeing things from a different angle, um, they're able to make more sense of what took place. I hope that that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So let's move into the tarot and look at these energies a little bit closer so i'm using the tarot grand lux today i am absolutely obsessed with this deck i've connected to it much quicker than other decks that i've like purchased and then used i just love the artwork so much and i don't know it usually it takes me a while to connect with my decks or at least form some sort of a the relationship with the images and the messages that I get, but this one was like instant. So anyways, this will be a general love reading, Sagittarius. So as always, take what resonates, leave the rest. It will not resonate with every single person watching. Um, so keep that in mind. If it's not your reading today, that's okay. Just check back next week to see what else, um, what other messages we have for you and that might resonate more if you enjoy my readings please consider liking or subscribing um, liking the videos helps out the channel a lot okay so that feels good all right so let's start with the main energy here Sagittarius what's the main energy here spirit what's going on for Sagittarius what's going on here main energy for Sagittarius and this other person what's the main energy here King, oh no I was gonna say King is Knight of Wands Knight of Wands well the Knight of Wands is definitely not paralyzed or fearful of anything Knight of Wands goes right into the heat of things they are very quick to act a lot of passion fiery energy here um, they want something usually. Interesting. What else? What else is going on in this connection? What's the main energy here? Wow, seven of cups. Okay, so I feel like um, that feeling of uh, being unsure, not knowing what to do, or it's because someone is, may, there's maybe confusion here, or someone doesn't know which cup to choose here and so because they don't know 
I feel like they're letting things, it's like knowing what you want, but really having no clue how to get it. That's what I am picking up here. And then I have the Four of Swords at the bottom, which makes perfect sense. This is someone that is not doing a lot of moving, um, which is kind of strange because the Knight of Wands is all about movement. The Knight of Wands is not someone to sit around, reflect on things, right? Like they think very quickly. So I feel like there's like a battle inside someone here, like knowing exactly what to do, but not knowing how to how to do it. So tell me about their true feelings or intentions towards Sagittarius spirit. What are their true feelings or intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their true feelings or intentions? Queen of Cups. Wow. Well, when it comes to feelings, this is all about feeling right here. Queen of Cups. Again, very empathetic person. Very compassionate. Great listener. Very loving, nurturing, intuitive energy with the Queen of Cups. Um, very um, kind-hearted. Serene. I think this person is either viewing you in this way, Sagittarius, or this is how they're feeling towards you. What else can you tell me about their true feelings? or intentions towards Sagittarius, their true feelings or intentions. Chariot reversed, Cancer energy. So feeling stuck, unable to move. Maybe they're thinking about switching direction here because they're, they're stuck, they're paralyzed. Tell me more their true feelings or intentions tell me more okay thank you five of cups reverse so they want again you know this feeling of um wanting to recover what has been lost and um i know that i get messages a lot about reversals and how i have too many reversals in my readings and that that that's a bad thing and i completely disagree Reversals do not mean that they're bad messages. Some cards you want to get reversed. You know, I always use the example like the Three of Swords upright. Is that a real positive card for you? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, there's plenty of cards upright that you can't really think of them as positive, you know, quote unquote. But the Five of Cups, this is a great card to get reversed, usually, depending on what are the other um, cards surrounding this card are. But the Five of Cups reverse is about overcoming the difficulties of the past, um, overcoming disappointment, um, wanting to recover what has been lost, to, taking the steps to recover what has been lost. Sometimes when it's taken to the extreme, it could be that someone's not over the past completely. We'll see when I clarify. But I just have this, this feeling when I got this card, it's like your person doesn't want to feel disappointed anymore. They don't want to keep missing you. They don't want to keep thinking of the past and regretting it. They want to do something about it. You know, I just think they feel stuck. Yeah. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. So I feel like something here didn't take place. Something here didn't grow. Yeah. Maybe a lot of time has passed with the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, someone's been keeping or um, feeling the same way, even though there's been a lot of uh, time that has happened here or distance that has happened here. So tell me about the actions or energy they're bringing into this connection with Sagittarius. Tell me about the actions or energy they're bringing. To this connection with Sagittarius. Okay, we got that nine of oh, of coins reversed. So okay, I feel like your person's um kind of attached to something here. Maybe they lack confidence. 
maybe they have everything that they could want in life except for love and are not really truly satisfied. Even if they're successful, there's something missing. There's no independence, no freedom here. Again, that feeling of being trapped. Um, I have the hangman reversed at the bottom. So, you know, this could be somebody that is remaining stuck, remaining uh, in a situation um, because of their own, like it's their own choice. I'm getting that this person is in this position. They're doing a lot of thinking and reflecting, but what, but remember, I, I don't really, like I said earlier, I don't really see a lot of action. I see someone motivated to act, but I don't really see action. I see someone stuck. What else can you tell me about the potential actions or energy that this person is bringing to this connection spirit for Sagittarius? Wow, King of Coins. King of Coins, um, very grounded, serious energy. Um, some of you are dealing with someone who's already in a commitment, and this person is not free of a commitment yet. Um, others of you, this person's very stable, very successful, financially successful, possibly here. Very mature energy, the king of coins. It could very well be, you know, for some of you, definitely, this person is possibly even married. Um, but for others of you, it's almost like your person has it all, but are not confident enough or secure enough in themselves to go after what they want. Can I get one more, please? Potential actions or energy this person is bringing. Oh, wow. We got the 10 of coins. Wow. Okay. This person, I feel, for those of you that are dealing with someone that's married. Um, what's at the bottom here before I... <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> Definitely. Look at that. I love these. I love the artwork of these so much. Um... I'm just picking up, it's just such a strong sense that I'm picking up here of someone who is having an awakening. We have the judgment card, wizard of awareness, empathy. Um, I feel like your person, if this is someone that's married, is a very long-term commitment. There's possibly children involved. Um, maybe your person's concerned with finances, like if they were to separate from someone, there would be some sort of financial hurdle for them. But more than anything, I'm picking up that this person, you know, very uh, successful person, um, someone that is very, um, maybe really looking for commitment, really looking for love, for something solid, stable, real. Um, maybe this person wants a second chance with the judgment card, or they're having some sort of awakening as to how to go about this 10 of coin. I feel like this person is a king of coin energy already. Uh, and their, their mind is thinking of the 10 of coin. How do I get to that pinnacle of success? How do I get to have a family, a long-term commitment with my queen of cups? So let's clarify. I'm going to be using this little adorable deck that I got recently. Centennial edition of the Rider Weight here or the Smith Weight. All right, Spirit, help me clarify for Sagittarius. Let's start with this Seven of Cups and this Knight of uh, Wands. I want to know what this person wants. I have an idea, but. You know, what does this person want with you, Sagittarius? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What's this Knight of Wands about? Ten of Swords, wow. 
Okay, so they're motivated by some sort of an ending. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Oh, I got a lot, but there you are, Sagittarius. Temperance reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, something did not work out for your person. They did not. There's no, um, something either didn't work out between you. Something didn't come together in harmony. Um, maybe there has been a lot of time that has happened in this connection. Someone not, did not get their wish fulfilled. Could have been a third party involved for some of you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords reverse. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Someone could have been um, deceiving themselves here. Maybe refusing to see the truth or the clarity of something. Ten of Wands. Another ten. Burdens. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Okay. Nine of Wands, reverse. What's this? Justice, reverse. Yikes. Okay. Libra energy. Look what's at the bottom. Queen of Cups again. I feel like someone, um, this, this has been a burden. Whatever has happened between you, whatever confusion, whatever option was chosen that, you know, or, or is not being seen clearly, whatever confusion there is, this is all a burden. With justice reverse, something's off balance, unfair to someone, or, or feels very unfair. And someone I feel, whoever is um, carrying a burden, I think they're, they're, their guard is down at this point. It's almost like they're ready to, to give up here, but have held on for dear life, you know? So tell me about the chariot reverse. Why is the chariot reverse here? There's that paralyzing fear right there, eight of swords. Yeah, I think fear is holding someone back here. Even though their their feelings are strong, they're stuck. Tell me more about the chariot. Five of uh, swords. Okay, so um, a lot of air energy here. I feel like um, your person's actions possibly sabotaged a stable foundation here. There might have been deception here between you and it, I think it's your person's fault. I feel also your person's stuck because of what happened in the past. It's like they're revisiting how things ended or played out. They know they've hurt you. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. This is five of cups reverse. Emperor energy, Aries here. Taking charge, um, just being decisive. I really feel this is someone who wants to recover what's been lost. Tell me more about the five of cups reverse. The emperor is not somebody to sit around and just let things happen. Capricorn energy with the devil. Again, with some sort of attachment here. And there's a three of cups. Some of you are definitely dealing with a third party. And I know I'm going to get the comments. Everything with you is a third party. <laughs> I cannot help the cards that come out, guys. Okay. I have a three of pentacles reverse here with the three of cups with the devil. Come on. But yeah, I feel like there's some sort of unhealthy attachment here. Something that someone has not been able to let go. Almost like an obsessive energy over what happened in the past. Tell me about the nine of pentacles reverse. That's a nine of pentacles reverse here. Wow. Yeah. Two of cups. I feel like your person, this is, this is what they're thinking about. They're, they're, they're still energetically attached to some sort of a partnership here. Yeah. I feel they've kept this to themselves with the high priestess. Tell me more about this nine of pentacles. Yeah. Look at this. We got the six of cups here. Ace of swords and two of pentacles reverse clarity about the past there is a clarity here about you know maybe they even want to communicate what they've kept to themselves regarding a pa the past um bottom of the deck five of pentacles reverse this is all about recovery once again tell me about the ten of pentacles with the two of pentacles reverse this back and forth this juggling cannot your person cannot keep it up if this is two people that your person's juggling, one of these is going to drop. Strength reverse. Interesting. Leo energy. Tell me about the 10 of coin. 
Again, it's like they can't keep it up. They don't have the strength or the control over their emotions here. Oh my God. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, your person's thinking about an offer here. Tell me more about the Ten of Coin. An offer that will lead to something long term. This is what your person wants. This is the potential actions they'll take or the energy they bring to this connection. Tell me more about the Ten of Coin. Yeah, success, Six of Wands. Definitely. I feel like all they have to do is talk. Um, I feel like this is, this is an offer I feel, it's almost like they're going to tell you, I know that, you know, I recognize that you are the one that I want to do the long-term thing with. I feel like they've, they've kept this to themselves. They haven't acted possibly out of fear of conflict. Maybe their previous actions in the past have led to conflict and so they're stuck. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't have the courage. Very um, interesting energy. Can I get one more uh, for this king of coin? Tell me something about this queen of coin. Not queen. King of coin, please. What do I need to know? Oh, this king of coin spirit what do we need to know the world reversed unfinished business what's this two of swords yeah because a decision needs to be made your person's coming out of that feeling of not knowing what to do what choice to make There is a lack of closure here and your person feels it. Uh, so if this resonated for you in any way, let me know down in the comments. I love hearing how the readings resonate for you. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.